Good evening. I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. We welcome you to our Twilight Talks. Tonight we are in 3rd John. 3rd John. The elder to the beloved guy, I assume I love in truth. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. For I rejoice greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that is in you. Just as you walk in the truth, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, you do faithfully whatever you do for the brethren and for strangers who have borne witness of your love before the church. You send them forward on their journey in a manner worthy of God, you will do well, because they went forth for his name's sake, taking nothing from the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we may become fellow workers for the truth. I have written something to the church, but Diotrephes, who likes to put himself first, does not acknowledge our authority. So if I come, I will call attention to what he is doing in spreading false charges against us. And not content with these charges, he refuses to welcome the friends and even presents those who want to do so and expels them from the church. Beloved, do not imitate what is evil, but instead imitate what is good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. Everyone has testified favorably about Demetrius and so has the truth itself. We also testify for him, and you know that our testimony is true. I have much to write to you, but I would rather not write with pen and ink. Instead, I hope to see you soon, and we will talk together face to face. Peace to you. The friends send you their greetings. Greet the friends there, each by name. What we have going on here, we have... Uh, Three brethren mentioned in one letter, Gaius, Demetrius, and Diotrephes. With Gaius, uh, is verse 2, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health just as it is well with your soul. The uh, New King James reads that verse 2 how, Tyler? Uh, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Okay. And this is one of those where the word prosper is actually, that's what the words literally mean. It's not, if the word to be well in English now meant what it used to mean, which is that everything in your life is thriving and doing well. But now the concept of being well really carries with it more the idea of you just don't have a lot of trouble. Um, and so with one brother, he wants him to prosper in things material, just as he's already prospering in things spiritual. And so this is a good brother. And it is a good thing for us to want our brothers and sisters to prosper socially, financially, physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Oh, all, all, that's, that's his point. And, and, uh, not too long ago, you know, Tyler, Tyler was there when a person said, that, you know, he didn't want pre preachers paid too much because he wanted to make sure that they weren't in it just for the money. And all I could think was, um, yeah, I'm not really sure how much you think preachers make, but uh, considering that most of us move every three to five years on average, and it takes at least 12 months to recover from every move financially, there is a point where it doesn't really make a difference how much you make because you're never able to build up anything long term. But it just it struck me, that it, and it was a person who's basically lived in one area their whole life, and they've inherited land because their families lived here, and da-da-da-da-da. And it was just like, huh, interesting. Most of the good in your life you inherited from someone else who did all the work, but someone else who's doing all kinds of work for the Lord, you want to make sure that they don't do too well. Eh, interesting, interesting. Um... Diotrephes, how long have there been people in the church that pull these kinds of stunts? At least since the apostles. Mm -hmm. um, does anything strike you about Diotrephes, Tyler? Kind of like you said, it's the same issues that the, that the church has with people today, where there are people who care more about themselves than the word. And and that's true. 
And I want you to consider this. Diotrephes had a problem with other people in the church, and he had a problem with the Apostle John. Did you know there are some people in churches that it does not make a difference who the other party is? It does not make a difference how pleasant or how unpleasant their personalities are. Some people will not get along because that's who they are. It's not who they have to be. Christ would happily change them. But did you know that Christ will change no one contrary to their will? When people talk about being saved and, and XYZ was no longer an issue, you know why? Because they really wanted to be done with that issue and Christ by his grace, boom. He won't change you. He won't do that in you that you don't want to have done with in you. And that goes back to 1 John uh, chapter 3. He that has this hope in him purifies himself even as he is pure. And then Demetrius. Thank God for Gaius and Demetrius. Um, Demetrius, he does his best to get along with as many people as he can. He blesses as many people as he can. And uh, he strengthens all of the brethren that he's able to. Thank God for the Demetriuses. But I want you also to see one thing about John. John says, when I get there, I will straighten out Diotrephes problem. Um, that's the challenge in churches today, Tyler. Because every church is autonomous and internal. No one's ever able really to come in and sort some of these things out. And uh, you know, just, just some interesting challenges. We do good on a lot of things, but we're still not doing as good as we should be in being the apostolic church that we see of the good things in the New Testament. Anything you want to add? No, sir. Invite them to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you in the morning.